you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> you might recognize this phrase from an old television show, The Incredible Hulk. You see, when Bruce Banner would get angry, he would turn into the Hulk. The Hulk was a motion out of control, and very scary, and very big, and green. Fortunately, most of us don't literally turn into the Hulk when we get mad, but we do certainly transform the way we are around others. But seriously, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. No, despite what you may think, you haven't really seen me really angry. Now, I'm normally very in control of my emotions, but when I get very upset, I really, really lose it. I can count on one hand the number of times this has happened in my life. When it happens, I can be really, really scary. Fortunately, it rarely happens. Why does it happen that often? Because... Overall, I think I have a pretty high emotional intelligence. No, I'm not trying to brag here. I'm by no means perfect at controlling my emotions, as you have seen in person. But over the years, I've prided myself in being very even-keeled, as much as possible. So, in case you haven't guessed for this video, we're talking about emotion. There are three pairs of terms from this chapter that I want to focus on. The first pair of emotional terms is emotional intelligence and emotional aptitude. Emotional intelligence is a measure of our ability to deal with emotions as they come up. How much can we analyze, sort, and work through our emotional states? How good are we at making sure our emotions don't get out of control, or rather, control us? When we do let our emotions control us, this is called emotional ineptitude. This is what happens when we have a low emotional intelligence. That is, we can't handle emotions and what happens when we have them. Something to note about emotional intelligence is that we often refer to negative emotions when we talk about letting our emotions control us or not. But just as easily, very positive emotions can get in the way of functioning properly. Say you're so excited and happy over a job promotion that you neglect to think about the feelings of your best friend who just got fired. Emotional intelligence and ineptitude is all about how we process our feelings so that we can manage our interpersonal relationships in a better way. The second pair of emotional terms is emotional traits and emotional states. An emotional trait is a lasting aspect of who we are as individuals. It's almost part of our personality. Our traits don't change very much over time. If we are a grumpy person most of the time, this is a trait. Sure, we might have flashes of happiness, but we default back to grumpy if that's our emotional trait. An emotional state is a temporary emotion that we will feel for a short period of time. For example, that grumpy person who has a flash of happiness well, that happiness is actually an emotional state for that person. It's fleeting and caused by some particular event or stimuli. So an emotional trait is long-lasting, and an emotional state is short-term. The final pair of emotional terms is facilitative emotions and debilitative emotions. The base of these terms are the words facilitate and debilitate. To facilitate means to help. To debilitate, debilitate means to make something weak. Which do we want our emotions to do, do you think? Yeah, we would want our emotions to help us more than weaken us, right? A facilitative emotion is an emotion that helps further our interpersonal relationships in some way. Meanwhile, debilitated emotions do the opposite. They hold us back, weaken our relationships. For the most part, facilitative emotions are positive emotions, that is, love, happiness, compassion. And most debilitative emotions are negative emotions, anger, disgust, rage. These are generalities, however. Sometimes a positive emotion, such as love, who feel for an abusive friend or partner, could lead us to stay with that person. And vice versa, a negative emotion, such as the anger we feel towards a friend or partner, could motivate positive change in that relationship. Now, these three groups of terms work together in multiple ways. For example, a person with high emotional intelligence might use facilitative emotions to alter or change a negative emotional trait over time. Or a person with emotional ineptitude might use too many debilitative emotions. And these emotions can lead to several short-term emotional states that hurt their relationships. So yeah, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. But fortunately, I really don't get angry that often. Lucky you. Because you wouldn't want me to turn green and smash, right? Because Hulk smash.